Well, it is a beautifully cold morning here in Kentucky. It got down to almost 10 degrees last night and my wife's car wouldn't start. So this diesel running here in the background didn't want to start this morning. We had to jump it off. So now we are on our way to Advance Auto to find ourselves a new battery. It's been giving her problems now for gosh a couple of weeks in this really cold weather and it's never really started too well in the cold so we're gonna get a cold weather rated battery and maybe some other odds and ends and get her fixed up for winter so what do you think of this lighting am i a little overexposed i think i look pretty good i might need to shave today so i'm just gonna go ahead and apologize for having not posted in the last couple of days i, I really tried to but I got really, really sick with food poisoning for a couple of days, and I'm just starting to get back on my feet. So we're going to try to catch up with some stuff today. I also was really busy before I got sick with various holiday-related stuff, and I didn't get any editing done. And the day that I was expecting to get all caught up and do two or three edits and get things ready to roll was the day I was really sick. So I'm a little behind. We're going to make it work. We're going to keep going. It'll be awesome. The wife's been wanting a Christmas tree. What do you think of this little guy? He'll fit on a table. Girl. I was never good at sexing furs. Forgive me, the auto white balance is getting really confused on my camera. I don't... It keeps overexposing weird parts of the frame. So after a quick walk and a quick shave, I feel like a new man. I tell you, trying to get into the habit of uploading every single day is really difficult, especially when you've been fraught with the same kind of challenges I have for the last couple of days. I had a microphone malfunction which rendered an entire day's video useless. I was sick for a day. I got so caught up in holiday stuff I had zero time to edit and was still sick. So then... All of my footage that I had taken, none of the pieces that did have good audio made any sense because I was still struggling with that microphone problem. I haven't gotten a lick of good video in almost four days now. So we're all but starting from scratch today. One last thing, I haven't forgotten about the colored lighter project either. I'm still hunting down the appropriate parts and methodology to put it together that is within the span of most DIYers' tools and ability. For the colored lighter project, I'm trying to avoid any kind of machining or boring or... Dang it, it's ruined my audio. Shut up! Stop ruining my audio! We have quite a few things planned for today, so... This will have to do for lunch. We are at the Big Red Tool Store today. They've got a sale going on. So why are we in the Big Red Toy Store today? Well, we are in the Big Red Toy Store today so that we can put together a maker kit that I can travel with every day and use to do my projects. So I'm looking for small hand tools and various other parts, bales of wire, things like that, so every day while we're traveling over Christmas, I have what I need to do little projects. I'm gonna bring you along for putting together the kit and then you'll get to see me use it for the rest of the week. So one of the dangers of the Big Red Tool Store is uh, stuff like this. You find all these really cool pouches and nifty gadgets that you think you really need and then you get them home and realize you never use them and they're so cheap you just want every single one of them. So for our everyday maker kit we're going to need something to keep it in. So I was looking at various different pouches and cases and that's definitely a necessity for kind of keeping all of our tools and little parts we pick up throughout the week all together in one place. Springs and other stuff too. This little case thing is uh it's looking pretty cool right about now. So I think this is what we're going to go for to keep all of our kit in. It's this 14 pocket tool roll and it's about 10 bucks. It should hold just enough little gadgets and tools and enough empty space for parts and springs for our project. I think we'll go with this to start with. So for our tool kit, uh, necessity is definitely some kind of a measuring implement. And I'm kind of on the fence about maybe two. One for larger gross measurements up to three or four feet, something that will still fit in our tool roll, all the way to maybe a cheap set of calipers, one of these little straight edge pocket ruler jobs. So here's what I found for about a dollar and a half. It's a little metal straight edge ruler with a depth gauge on it. Uh, I think that'll fit in our tool roll for sure, and for this cheap, we might as well add it to the kit. Now, this 
has me a little bit curious as to how effective this thing is. This is both a protractor and a ruler, metric and standard. Now it has some other divisions on the side, and I'm not really sure what those are for, but that looks really interesting. It's only a little bit more expensive. We'll, we'll give it some thought and come back. So here's another possibility for holding our kit, is this uh, cheap plastic ammo box. Um, it's got a nice waterproof seal on the inside. I've already looked at it, a heavy, sturdy latch and a good handle. Um, that offers a bit more space than our tool wrap, but it's a little conspicuous and it's kind of bulky, maybe. So I was digging through all of their different cutters and snippers and all kinds of stuff, because we're going to need some way to process material this week. Well, and I came across these smaller metal shears, and I think these will do pretty well for if we come across things like leather or tin cans or anything like that we're trying to harvest material from. They'll probably need a good sharpen once we get them home, but for five bucks, I think these will be pretty good, and I think they fit in our kit too. Even though there's lots of really interesting stuff here that would probably fit in our kit, some of it's kind of unitaskery and um, doesn't really do a whole lot for us unless we're working on brakes or trying to pull a vacuum or large tailpipe expanding. So we're going to not focus on tools like that. After digging through all the different power tools and drill bits, I found something. I found this three-piece countersink set. Now I'm not super interested in the countersinks. Those, ah, uh, they'd probably need a good sharpening. They need a lot of work and they're probably not such great steel, but I'm interested in this handle here because it fits these standard shank pieces with a quick connect. So I'm thinking if we can score this for five bucks and then maybe some drill bits somewhere over there that would also fit, I think we might be onto something for our kit. You'll have to wait and see for the conclusion of the maker kit. We got a lot of other things on our plate. Uh, I'm gonna wait. I've got some other odds and ends I'm gonna add to it that I didn't buy at Harbor Freight. So I'm gonna have to get it all put together and I'll show it to you then. All right. Keep watching for the next video. Okay, so this is a super close-up of the ridges of my finger. My wife just got me a macro lens for my camera. I'm sorry, I'm shaking really bad. But isn't this crazy? Though, that's my fingerprint. <laughs> Alright. And there's it like fully zoomed out with my camera.